Hey everybody. Most of us are interested in someday having a Eureka moment. That is what Pythagoras said when he discovered his Pythagorean theorem. Eureka, I have found it. And we hope that as we try and trial new things that we're going to find a way that works really well where we can say, Eureka, I have found it. However, most of us end up having more Thomas Edison moments than we do Pythagoras moments where we have to bolster ourselves and give ourselves some courage and motivation and say, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that didn't work. Well, I have to tell you about one of those ways today. We've been trialing the free range bunnies. And if you saw the two previous videos about this, we took some of our rabbit stock and put them out in the yard to run around. The first thing that we discovered was that we had inadequate fencing for our vegetation. And we put in new fencing to keep the rabbits out of areas that we didn't even think they were going to get to. Because if anybody ever tells you that garlic will keep a rabbit out of some place, it doesn't work. Rabbits just like to pre-season themselves and eat your garlic. However, it's been 30 days since we've seen a rabbit. And now I have to sadly tell you that we feel that this is one of those ways that does not work. We were smart enough to keep two of our rabbits, a pair that we knew that would breed separate and still in cages, so we're going to recover. Things are okay. However, we have not seen hide nor hair of any of our rabbits in 30 days. We gave it 30 days before coming and telling you about our problems because we just didn't know. We didn't know if maybe they went a little bit further away from the property and they'd work their way back. We didn't know if maybe they were underground taking care of kits and would be out in a few weeks. We just weren't sure, but now we feel that we've just got to put a stake in the ground and say it's done. We think that the most likely culprit was a pathogen. We think that they probably had worms. Uh, we don't know if they contracted it from other wild rabbits. We haven't seen or heard wild rabbits around. However, we did find our two males. The two males that we released, one of them we found one morning that looked like he was beat to death. And we don't know if he survived off of a predator attack or if he was fighting with another rabbit or if he tore himself up to be honest but it wasn't good and we ended up having to put him down the second male jennifer was able to walk straight up to him and pick him up which is something we had got unaccustomed to being able to do we were able to do that in the beginning but the more that they were out in the yard, two or three feet was our best shot in getting close to them. And then as she would pick him up and set him back down again, he would sit there and then roll onto one side. Seeming like he was cognitive, but not in control of his faculties. And our research, mostly on Jennifer's part, led us to believe that it's probably some type of pathogen that got into their brain and caused the distress that ended up to make them pass away. So we know that the two males for sure have passed away and not seeing the females for so long when it was a common occurrence to come out in the yard and see four or five rabbits at a time tells us that we have to come back to you and say that we cannot recommend this. It's just not something that we feel comfortable doing again and we can't tell you that you should do it on your own. We'll have to look into this more. Maybe if you're a person who's comfortable with medicating your animals, there might be some options. Maybe if you had a more enclosed area that you felt you could keep the rabbits um, a little more, a little closer eye on the rabbits and be able to attend to any medical issues that they may have as they come up, then maybe there are some possibilities. But for our experiment, this again is one of those ways that just did not work. But we want to share our successes and our failures with you. So I hope that you will join us next time. We'll see you then.